Indeed, you are the Lord, the Most High God. None besides you, none can be compared to you, our mighty God, who is our Father in heaven. We hallowed your name this morning. Father, thank you for the gift of life. Thank you for your grace. Thank you for watching over us. Thank you for our families and friends. Thank you for your church this morning. You have got it. Indeed, you are the most high God, the most high God, the almighty God, the everlasting Father, the Prince of all peace. This morning, receive the glory, the honor, and the praise. You've made it possible for us to be alive. Father, we are grateful. You have watched over us. Our Jesus, we are grateful. Today is full of your goodness. For your word says so, that goodness and mercy shall follow us all the days of our lives. Oh, what a surety, what an assurance unto your children. Thank you for the provision of your goodness and your mercy that will surround us. Thank you, O oh God, for the gifts of your spirit that will operate in and through us as we go through the day in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Thank you for the numerous angels you have given charge over us so that they will bear us up in their hands, that none of us will stumble. Jesus, your name be praised. You said, whatsoever we shall ask in your name, that will you do. Do for us, Lord. Even as we step into this awesome day, be with us, Lord. Guide us in every step of the way and cause us to go to experience your mercy, your love, your grace, your favor, the abundance, O oh God, of your provision you've made available for us. May we walk in them. We declare that we will not lack because you are our shepherd. Your name be praised this morning. In Jesus' name, amen. Good morning, family, and welcome to this morning's devotion. Welcome to this morning's devotion. I'm trusting that today we might be able to spend some time ready to to pray regarding the things that we are looking at, regarding the few things I've been on and we've been reflecting on. Yesterday, after I have shared, my mind kept on staying and reflecting because I had read the Second Chronicles chapter 14. My mind stayed on the king Asa. It stayed on him. So I kept reflecting and I had questions on my mind. How can a man that stands his life so beautiful but end up turning his back unto the Lord to the point that when he was one of God, he still didn't turn to God. When he was afflicted with sickness, he still didn't tend to God, but he remained in his unbelief or lack of faith or lack of dependence on God unto leaning on men or on the arm of men. I asked myself, what happened along the line? What really happened? What really took place? That somebody can start very well and, and ends up not doing us. Um, is suspected of, of him or her. I, as I was growing, heard about many pastors who committed themselves to so many things, but at the end of the day, they didn't end well. So it stayed on my mind. It engaged my mind. And what was written in Galatians, Paul will say, Who bewitched you? Who has bewitched you? That you started so well, but your end is... is, is is you started in the spirit, but you are ending in the flesh. It's, it's possible for one to start well as a Christian, but along the line to backslide. But I think that the Lord just stayed me on it. Just let me know that you are a man. You are a man. Be careful. You can start so well, 
but you might not end well. Asa could not end well and depended on on man and all those things. It is possible for you to slip. So today, I will just take a journey again and reflect on this man Asa again. Reflect on him. Sometimes when you pick the scripture like that, you really don't know. You might think it was a man that lived his life anyhow, but Asa was not a man or a king that lived his life anyhow. He took over from his father, Abijah, who was after Solomon. And we know that after Solomon died, the kingdom was divided into two. We had the northern kingdom and we had the southern kingdom. Abijah was the king for the southern kingdom and the rest of the kingdom. The northern kingdom, the kings they had, they were men who were full of wickedness. So after Solomon, we know that Solomon brought other gods into his kingdom. Abijah, his son, did not move from it. He, he maintained those things. And, and Asa, his grandmom also got involved and had influence with these things. So Second Chronicles chapter 14, I will take from verse from verse 2, because I will want us to spend some time. It scared me, so I want us to spend some time to pray. We will spend some time to pray for ourselves, so that we will not backslide. We will not walk away from the Lord. We will not depend on our strength. It is very important. We could start well, but we will not end well. So in verse 2 of Second Chronicles, I read from the BBE, and Asa did what was good and right in the eyes of the Lord his God. That was the beginning of Asa's life. He did what was good and right in the eyes of God from the beginning of his life. What, what will be said about you today? When you want to take a proper accountability of your work with the Lord, would it be said that you were one that was full of goodness? You were one that was upright in the eyes of the Lord. You were one that had so much passion for the things of God. You were one that none could stir you up to come for prayer meetings to show up in gatherings and also make your contribution, or you were one that has slacked back and now depending on your strength and now do not want to have any fellowship with any person. Asa was a man who was full of good works, a man who was right in the eyes of the Lord his God. It means that he had this God from beginning. From verse 3, he took away the, the altars, altars of strange gods and the high places and had the, the upright, sorry, and had the upright stone broken and the wood pillars cut down. Verse 4, he made Judah go after the Lord, the God of their father, the God of their fathers, and keep his laws and his orders. I want to read from the King James Version. And commanded Judah to seek the Lord. I like it. This was a man who commanded Judah to seek the Lord. This was a man in when he became a king, decided that the strange gods, the altars that have been built to ask for us to worship other gods, I am ready to tear it down. I am saying no to it because I am not ready. This was a man that would turn the heart of Judah after their God. This was a man that would bring repentance into a whole land. This was a man that so much loved the Lord, but at his end, this man could not 
hold on to his God. What happened along the line? What happened along the line? Did he have people that would draw his attention as a gradually you are sleeping, you know? as you are going down and down, you know? the very things you came to destroy, you are bringing them back again. You are allowing them in again. Did he have people that would warn him, Caleb, you started very well, but now it is like you are going astray. Please be watchful. Did he pay attention to the things that came his way? The men that were around him, did he allow them to communicate to him and say to him, Oh king, the way you are trending, be careful. Be careful. You started very well. You turned the heart of Israel unto their God. You built walls. You were able to do this. You were able to do that. You did this. There was so much rest all around. The Lord went into battle with you because you depended on him. The Lord gave you victory because you depended on him. But this time you are turning your eyes off. I reflected. He engaged my mind, brethren, throughout the day yesterday. And I realized that sometimes there are people around us who are accountability friends or family members, or church members, who, are, who holds us accountable, the way we live our lives, the way we go about our things. But because we think we are in a high position, we do not pay attention unto them. If you are like that, this morning I want to sound a warning unto all of us. The Bible says, See that thinker that his standard should take heed, lest his fall, he fall it. We should pay attention to the things that men tell us, the people around us. We should pay attention to the word of the Lord. This man started well. He could turn a whole nation. Let me say, he could bring a revival to a group of people to seek their God. He commanded them, Judah, to seek the Lord God of their fathers and to do the law and the commandments. He was willing to do God's will. He was willing to do the purposes of God. But at this point in his life, he could not hold on. What made him sleep? It scares me. What made him not to hold on? It scares me. What made him give up? It scares me. What made him decide that now I will go to Aram or Syria to Align myself with Syria. The arm of flesh, the Bible says the arm of flesh will fail. He knew all those things. His father in chapter 13, he learned from his father. His father depended on God at a point in time. But later ended up in many ways. Brethren, it's a lesson for us. These things were, were, were written for our learning. These things were written for our learning. We can start well, but it's possible we may not end well. It took me to 1 Corinthians. I want us to pray, so I'm just going to rush myself. 1 Corinthians chapter 9, verse 14. This is what Paul says. He says that, Know ye not that they which run in a race run all. Don't you know that if you find yourself in a race, and the Christian walk is a race we have found ourselves in, if you start as a spiritual person who you are, you must end spiritual. Yesterday, we, 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 we were in our discussion at church. My mind stayed on something. The Bible says that the inner man is renewed day by day. Note it. That inner man, he said, outwardly, we are being wasted. But the inner man is being renewed day by day. Then I asked myself, I just paused. I sat down quietly. And I paused. And I said, this inner man is supposed to be renewed day by day. Then my mind went to our phones, the phones we use. Where do we charge them? If we don't charge them, what, does, what happened to it? Because I asked myself, why should the inner man be renewed day by day? If we are not renewed, we end up dying. As simple as that. 
if I stay and I decide that I am not going to fellowship, I am not going to pray, I am not going to study the word of God, I am not going to worship, gradually I will die off like the phone battery will run out. And, and, and I said, I said, I do not allow my phone battery to run out. And confidence and James, they are witnesses. Yesterday when I, ran, when I entered the chapel, I realized my battery was low. So I quickly gave my phone to them to charge it for me. Why did I do that? Because I want to stay, my phone to stay on. We know how to recharge our batteries. But do we know how to renew that inner man in us. Do we know how to renew him? Do we know how to allow God, his word, fellowship, prayer, the things that we have known, beating that inner man by speaking in tongues, do we allow it to be at work in us? If not, then we should let us Become an example to us. But Paul is saying he that ran the race, run it all. But one received the price, so run, that he may obtain. And every man that strives for the mastery is temperate in all things. Now they do it to obtain corruptible crown. Hallelujah. They are running is to obtain every thing. Okay, to keep my phone alive is to stay in tune with brethren so that my family can reach me, so that the brethren around can reach me, so that the, the, the people that I've known, people that I do businesses with, they can reach me. I can communicate with them. I didn't want that link to be broken. But you see, the inner man who is eternal, the inner man whose work brings, can bring me, Rewards that I will stand before God and God will say, My son, you did very well. I gave you five. Yes, sir. You made five out of eight. That inner man, that will have that strength, that will be there to face the world mm. and to bring glory and to be victorious. I have abandoned that inner man. Asa, he started well. He built walls over Judah, he pulled down the idols in Judah. The pillars, those things they were worshipping, he directed the heart of the people to worship God. But he is still at the end of his, the tail end of his life. He could not run the race and finish well. My dear one, it, it scares my heart. And yesterday, whilst I was in my office, I prayed, I said, Lord, help me in this way also. Help me in this way also. I want to take the verse, the verse 26. It says, I therefore run, not as uncertainty, so fight I, not as one that beats the air, but I keep under my body and bring it under subjection, lest that by any means, when I have preached to others, I myself should be a cast away. Paul dreaded it. Paul would say, I make sure that I am bringing my appetites, the things that I so my desire, the cravings of the flesh, I bring it under authority as a sportsman would do. Every sportsman knows that if you have a match, you don't go and be drinking oil. Every sportsman knows because it could go through your nose. Every sportsman knows that if you have a match, let's say 3 o'clock, at 1 o'clock you don't go and eat so much, not too long. People were teasing Kotoko and half because they had traveled to go and play match, and before the match they were eating so heavily. And they scored them so heavily. Paul knew and understood that if I do A, if I do B, it is possible that at the end of the day I will be a blessing unto many, but I myself will not be able to end well. Brethren, I bring my exhortation to this point. I want us to pray that Lord help me in this race also. Lord guide me in this race also. The men that started well and fall at the roadside. Lord, deliver me so that I will not fall at the roadside. 
those that started in the spirit and could not end in the spirit, Lord, deliver me from it in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You don't want to do shadow boxing. You want to get into rare activities. The Lord help me to engage with you. Lord help me to renew my inner man. Lord help me to recite this morning in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Pray for yourself. Uh, the Lord help me that even if I have backslided, uh, like the prodigal son, uh, cause me to rise up uh, from the place of field in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ uh, into the place of prayer. Lord help me. The Bible says the prodigal son went. He came back to himself. He said, I will go to my father in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to return to your father this morning? You want to return to the Lord your God this morning, Parakate. You want to tell him that, Lord, I have fallen from a certain height in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. I have fallen, I have fallen, I have backslided in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Hold my hands, hold my hands that I will be able to run in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. You want to tell the Lord, my steam has run out. Lord, help me. Desire to worship. Desire to pray. Desire to study your word is going to. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, I lean on you, Heavenly Father. I lean on you, Heavenly Father. Father, we need him. Brother, we need the Lord. We need the Lord. We need his help uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Uh, we need his help to subdue the cravings, uh, to subdue the attention of the world. Uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, brethren, the people of Israel, uh, that is where I started. Uh, at the point in time, they said, let us go back. Uh, let's make a leader among us uh, so that we will return unto Egypt. Uh, they were ready to return unto Egypt. Uh, they were not ready to believe this God that brought deliverance unto them. What happened along the line is cast my heart. Lord, hold me up, Lord. Lord, hold me up, Lord. Barakate, labra nakate, libri ikato, barababo ukata, libri ikate. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, Lord, help me, Lord. Barande kate, that at the end I will not be a castaway. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, but I will remain faithful in You. I will remain faithful in You, that I will be renewed from within. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Now day by day, my works so God will be works of good. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ of Nazareth, that my works so God will be upright in your sight, O oh God. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, deliver me from every falling state, Lord. Deliver my heart, Lord. Set my heart aright, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, Father, every bitterness, every anger, every selfishness, uh, I bring it under your feet, Lord. And I say, deliver me from these things that will move me from your grace. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, uh, anything, O oh Lord, in the world that holds me back, uh, the work systems, uh, in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, deliver us from it, Lord. Deliver us from it, Lord. Bad friendships. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. My says, Lord, Barakate. Lemranda kute lakrikato barate. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. Help us, Lord. Help us, Lord. But it is scary. Look at the words Asa did. And yet still his end, he could not turn unto the Lord. The Lord have mercy on us. The Lord have mercy on us. The Lord have mercy on us. May we be like Paul, who will say, For I have run my race, and I've finished my course. The strength of the Lord come upon us in the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we will run and run so well. That we will hold on and hold on so well. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, the power of God come upon us so that we will subdue our flesh and the cravings of our flesh. Thank you, Lord 
Jesus. Thank you, Lord Jesus. May we desire you. May we long for you. May we love you more. May we increase in you, Lord. May our heart, every part of our being, be sold unto you, Lord. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ. May we return to the ancient marks, Lord. Those ancient marks are the place of commitment, dedication. In the name of the Lord Jesus Christ, that we will not be asked before we ask. Help us, Lord. Your name be praised. Be glorified. In Jesus' name. Amen. Brethren, stay blessed. It is my prayer that as the Lord engage me on the wise, the, the young king could not make it through. May that also engage you. May you ask yourself genuine questions and be genuine with yourself. And where you need to turn to the Lord, please do. It is important. Because the coming of the Lord will not be something that you will be announced. He will come unexpected. Stay blessed. Enjoy your day. Bye-bye.